This video is on equivalent fractions. Equivalent fractions are fractions that represent the same amount. If you'll recall, equivalent means equal. It has that word equal in there. It means something that is equal or that's the same. So we're going to be talking about different fractions that represent the same amount. We talked about benchmark fractions and how we saw how some of our benchmark fractions were equivalent. Like for example, if we had one half, it would take two fourths to equal one half. So two fourths and one half, one half are equivalent fractions. We could do the same thing Oops, with our sixth. And it takes three sixths to equal one half. One half and three sixths are the same. We could also say that three sixths is equivalent or equal to two fourths. But those are the same because they're the same size. They're different fractions, but they represent the same size. We can use tables to find equivalent fractions. For example, if we have the fraction one half, the numerator is one, the denominator is two we can make a table and we can list multiples of 1 and multiples of 2. So the first multiple of 1 would be 2, so 2 fourths. Next would be 3 sixths, 4 eighths, 5 tenths, and 6 twelfths. Let's do another one, 1 fourth. Okay, the next multiple of 1 would be 2 and the next multiple of 4 would be 8, so it would be 2 eighths, followed by 3 twelfths, 4 sixteenths, 5 twentieths, and six twenty-fourths. Are you noting any kind of pattern here? Do you see anything happening? What we're doing to the numerator and what we're doing to the denominator as we list each new multiple? Take a few seconds, take a look, and see if you can come up with something. Sometimes you, you can find equivalent fra fractions by working backwards. So if we have the fraction eight twelfths, we can divide by 2, and we'd come up with 4 6. And we could divide this again by 2, and we would come up with 2 thirds. A table can also be used to find missing values. So if we have the fraction 1 half, and we've gone for the 1, our numerator, we're now at the multiple of 6, okay, then we would need to go to the 6 multiple of 2, so it would be 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 and we'd get 12. Okay, Going from 2 to 10, 10 is the fifth multiple of 2, so the fifth multiple of 1 would be 5. Okay, From 1 to 25, 25 is the 25th multiple of 1. You could find the 25th multiple of 2, or you could look at 5 tenths and you could say, okay, 25 is the fifth multiple of 5. So what's the fifth multiple of 10? Well, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Okay? And the same on, what about 12 to 48? 48 is the fourth multiple of 12, if you count by 12s. Do your skip counting. Then what's the fourth multiple of 6? 6, 12, 18, 24, it would be 4. And for the last one, you could go 1 to 75, or make it a little bit easier and you could say, okay, 25 to 75. 75 is the third multiple of 25 because when you skip count, you'd go 25, 50, 75. So what's the third multiple for 50? Well, 50, 100, 150. So this is homework check number one. Okay, You're going to find the missing values, the missing numerator or denominators using the table. Pause the video. Find the answers, put, come, write this table on your piece of paper, and then go ahead and find the missing values. Once you've completed, then restart the video. Okay, welcome back. So when you were working with the tables, and you were finding equivalent fractions using the tables, did you notice anything? Did you notice any patterns for finding equivalent fractions? Well, equivalent fractions can be found by multiplying or dividing the numerator and the denominator by the same amount. This amount is called the self scale factor. For example, I have two-thirds. 
I can find an equivalent fraction for two-thirds by multiplying both the numerator and the denominator by two, and I get four-sixths. So four-sixths is equivalent to two-thirds. Now if you'll notice, look at my two over two. What does this fraction actually equal? It actually equals one whole. Okay, It has to be the same. I have to multiply both numerator and denominator by the same number. Okay, Look at two-thirds. I can find another equivalent fraction for two-thirds by multiplying both the numerator and the denominator by five, and I would get ten-fifteenths. Ten-fifteenths is equivalent to two-thirds. It doesn't matter what I multiply two-thirds by, what scale factor I use, as long as I multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the same number. So I could multiply two-thirds by a hundred over a hundred and get two hundred over three hundred. That would be an equivalent fraction. I could multiply it by a scale factor of 5 million. As long as I multiply both numerator and denominator by 5 million, then I will get an equivalent fraction. Okay, let's do a couple of practice problems. Um, for each of these examples, let's find two equivalent fractions, two fractions that are equal. So I'm going to start with my 6 sixteenths. I'm going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 2. So 6 times 2 is 12, and 16 times 2 is 32. Now, I don't have to just multiply. I can also divide. I could divide by a common factor. In this case, I could divide both 6 and 16 by 2, and that would give me 3 eighths. So 3 eighths is also an equivalent fraction. It's equivalent to 6 sixteenths. Um, do I have to divide? No. You could multiply by another number. You could multiply, say, by 7, 7 over 7. Next example is 3 ninths. Um, this time, let's not multiply by 2, let's multiply by 5 over 5. Multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 5. 3 times 5 is 15, 9 times 5 is, that should be 45. We've got a typo there. Sorry about that. That should be 45. Okay, now let's divide, let's make it smaller. Is there a factor that you know of that goes into both 3 and 9? Sure. It's 3. We can divide both numerator and denominator by 3, and it's going to give us 1 third. It says 2 thirds, but that's another typo. It should be 1 third. So 1 third is equivalent to 3 ninths, and 15 45ths is also equivalent to 3 ninths. Okay, so homework check number 2. Go ahead and find two equivalent fractions for 2 tenths. Okay. Um, you could find, use the scale factor, multiply two different scale factors, or you could multiply and divide. It's up to you how you want to do it. There are various correct answers, but you're going to do this as homework check number two on your paper. Pause the video, and when you're ready to go on, continue. Okay, we can also find missing numbers that make fractions equivalent by using our scale factor. So, for example, we have two-thirds, and we know it's going to be equivalent to something that has 18 as a denominator. So we need to find that missing numerator. So to do that, think about what you know. You know both denominators. You know the 3. You know the 18. So think about it. Think to yourself, okay, what can I multiply 3 by, because I'm getting bigger, what can I multiply 3 by to make 18? And that would be 6. 3 times 6 will give you 18. So then do the same thing to the numerator. If you multiply 2 times 6, you should get 12. So 12 eighteenths is equivalent to 2 thirds. Okay, let's take a look at our next example. 3 fifths is equivalent to some fraction that has 12 as a denominator. Okay, what do you know? You know both your numerators. You're going from a 3 to 12. You're getting larger, so that means you're going to be multiplying. So what scale factor can you multiply 3 by that will give you 12? And that would be 4. 3 times 4 is equivalent to 12. So you're going to do the same thing to the denominator. 5 times 4 is 20. So 12 twentieths is equivalent to 3 fifths. Okay, and one more example. This time we have 70 over some denominator is equivalent to 7 tenths. We want to find the missing denominator. So let's look for a scale factor. What is it that we know? We know both numerators, okay? But 
this time we're going backwards. Okay? You're looking, you know the 7, and you want to go to a 70. What can you multiply 7 by to give you 70? That would be 10. So then do the same thing here. What is 10 times 10? It is 100. Okay, these are your last three homework checks. Homework check number three, four, and five. You're going to want to pause the video. First thing you need to do is find the scale factor. Once you find the scale factor, use the scale factor to find the missing numerator or denominator, to find the missing uh, fractional value. Again, do homework check number three, four, and five on your paper. You'll pause the video, and once you're done, the video is done.